Agent Romanov. You miss me? Oh yeah, Charles. We got ourselves an X-Men fan. Captain. Yeah, Captain. Big fan. Spider-Man. Hey guys, and welcome to Film Artsy, your number one source for all things films and movies, with the Marvel Cinematic Universe constantly evolving. And there's just been so much exciting news in casting decisions, and with production rolling through with Spider-Man 3 and more shooting expected to come in the near future, new rumors and speculation are starting to come out, suggesting that one actor that is set to return may be causing some trouble for production as he is now demanding more money for the role. Now this story reported by We Got This Covered points to a leaked rumor that the 46-year-old actor Tobey Maguire, who is set to return to his role as Peter Parker in the upcoming Spider-Man 3 movie, which is this big Spider-Man crossover movie, may be giving production a little bit more trouble than initially expected. Now, this is actually coming from some rumors that this actor is actually trying to work alongside Sony to renegotiate his contract to reprise his role as Peter Parker in this next movie and is demanding more screen time and an increase in pay for the upcoming appearance he's set to make in this Spider-Man movie. Now this is really interesting of a story, mostly because right away a lot of people are kind of drawing some comparisons to a similar situation that happened years ago with Tobey Maguire for Spider-Man 2, and once again now there's kind of the speculation that this is a similar situation to that. However, a lot of things that are often overlooked is the fact that Tobey Maguire is actually asking for more money for a larger role in the movie, not just more money for what he's already agreed upon. Now this could fall into a couple different categories of what is truly going on. It could be the case that maybe Sony has written Tobey Maguire for more screen time and a more of a role than what was initially anticipated, and because of that he presumably wants to have an increase in income, or alternatively suiting back up into Spider-Man, maybe he wants a more involved role and also wants to be paid adequately for it. Now, $15 million does seem like a steep price for a Spider-Man actor to jump on board, especially in a movie like this that has so many potential actors returning to their roles after years and years of not being involved in any Spider-Man related project. Though, the idea of doing a live-action Spider-Verse definitely hinges on having Tobey Maguire make a return to the franchise as well. Now, if we compare this actor, though, to some other films that have happened in the Marvel Cinematic Universe that kind of were incredibly important for what Sony was trying to do with Spider-Man, we can actually look back to Spider-Man Homecoming as an example of kind of a decision they had to make for bringing a character in. For instance, Robert Downey Jr. jumped in as Iron Man in the Spider-Man Homecoming film and only had 15 minutes of screen time. And though those 15 minutes of screen time were incredibly important plot points of the story, he got paid $10 million for that role. So, in comparison, Tobey Maguire asking for more screen time and a larger role for $15 million is comparable if you feel like Tobey Maguire is at the same caliber of importance as Robert Downey Jr. was to that first Spider-Man movie. We're thinking at this point and this late with production jumping on already and them having to move forward with the movie either way, and the fact that they've already have likely hired a lot of returning cast members to jump on the role like Andrew Garfield and all of the villains that are set to return as well, there's kind of an integral time now for Sony to make a decision as to whether or not they're going to up the money for Tobey Maguire's demands. Now, it is really interesting to see while we understand that this is likely a much higher pay than what maybe Tom Holland would make in Spider-Man 3, there is some sort of level of seniority here or the fact that they're casting legacy people who have played these roles in the past and that's what's really important for this story, that it's somewhat looking like maybe Sony will have to up the money just to really flesh out Tobey Maguire's story and maybe get that Peter Parker a little bit more screen time, which might not be a bad thing either. But we do want to turn this around to you guys. Remember for the role of Avengers Endgame, Robert Downey Jr. made $75 million and then also probably had some sort of stake in some earnings options as well. So he probably made even more when the film ended up doing fantastically large. 
And while this movie likely won't pass up Avengers Endgame, we do think it will be a very high grossing film nonetheless. So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out and what Sony's willing to put up for money moving forward. But what do you guys think of this whole situation? Are you on board for Tobey Maguire's return? Let us know in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on for more videos like this uploaded every day of the week. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. I'm about to. to. Hi everybody. Hey everybody. How you doing? Hi. <laughs> Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> 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 See you guys. No